And so welcome everybody to tonight's BOGO extravaganza. We're doing a recap tonight, all things that we've um, either purchased in our back offices or maybe even have already on hand. And I'm gonna teach you tonight how to use those in a way that is supportive for your emotional health. You're gonna learn a lot about how to use them on a real life application standpoint. And so um, I have all of the oils in front of me right now. And so what I'm gonna do is if you don't have the essential oils close by, I'm going to do my best to aromatically describe to you what they smell like. And then we're gonna go through some contents as far as how you can use them in real life. Because it's one thing to purchase them, it's one thing to get kind of caught up in the BOGO hype because that happens, right? But it's another thing to once they get here to know how to use them effectively. Okay, and so that's my goal tonight is to inspire you, but also to make you know that I, I mean, I looked at my, I call this an arsenal. Um, every single one of these essential oils is such a powerhouse from an emotional standpoint, from a virus fighter standpoint. There's so many reasons why. I am super, super pumped yes. they A, picked all these essential oils to support us, and also B, how they're gonna carry forward for the whole year. So let's crack right into it. Um, <laughs> Pettit grain and lavender. So if you're taking notes, that's the first BOGO. BOGO day one was Pettit grain and lavender. And I kind of like to refer this to um, as the Jack and Jill of essential oils. They literally pair so beautifully together and they work so synergistically well together, but they're also on an aromatic level, completely and totally different. So the first one I'll talk about is, and I'm just using my notes, I have notes here, um, Pettigrain. And so um, Pettigrain is actually one of the higher level of antioxidant essential oils. And so when I open up Pettigrain, okay. The first time I smelt pedigree, it smelt like um, a frozen bag of beans. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it had it had that like herbal, fresh, green smell, but I couldn't quite. I wasn't like that. Doesn't this, is that an essential oil or is that dinner? <laughs> so I didn't know how to kind of meander my way around it. But as I adventured into the use of pedigree, and deepened my knowledge and the understanding of being able to use it on a systemic level for my immune system, cardiovascular health, um, obviously tons and tons of different digestive stuff that it can do. I then was like, oh, okay, like I can totally get used to that beans out of a freezer smell. <laughs> does anyone, if any, I know a lot of you are muted, but does anyone want to chime in and say what they think pedigree smells like? Just go ahead and unmute yourself. Carrie, Avery, what does it smell like? What does it smell like to you, honey? Mm, it smells like kids are honest. Let's hear it. Yep. It smells like pedigree. Smells like pedigree. You know what's interesting is while it's very herbally, if you do a really slow, slow inhalation, okay. at the end you get a lavender ish smell at the very very end of it the note is very herbaceous like it's it's the herb of lavender that you're probably referring to yeah yeah and i 100 percent agree when it comes to your central nervous system too like pettit grain and lavender are like like i said the jack and jill of essential oils so when it comes to someone who maybe sometimes is repelled by lavender someone that maybe he's used to the synthetic smell of lavender and they haven't actually experienced the realness of lavender. Pettit grain is super duper supportive of all things that lavender does, but it doesn't have that floral smell. So for someone who's really turned off with florals or even a gentleman in your life, Pettit grain can do all the things that lavender can from a systemic level. Um, like I'm talking about things like calming people down, relieving tension, um, stress, things like that. Um, and we think about lavender when we think of those things, that's pedigree too. Um, so when it comes to using it, you can diffuse lavender now and pedigree together. And last week, um, Colleen 
released or like told us all about a cool blend. So if you if you like new fun lavender, or I'm sorry, diffuser blends, Pettigreen, Lavender, and Clary Sage. Two drops of each, I think she said. And correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone remembers that one. I'm getting nods from Michelle. Um, she was diffusing that all week. She couldn't get enough of it. And so um, obviously that's gonna help promote calm, tranquility, the central nervous system. It's also gonna help promote, obviously, um, my goodness, we've had the craziest winter and I know I'm there with Colleen and a bunch of other moms. Like it has been a time, has it not? <laughs> Our kids have been home. It's been an ice storm. It's been a snowstorm. It's been all the things. So um, I'm super excited about being able to use it more often in my house because I was one of those people who I got it because I had never had it before. It's almost like Ariel who didn't have the full collection yet <laughs> in her treasure trove of plenty. And I just was like, oh, how do I not have pedigree? And so I ordered it a couple of months ago and I cannot believe I haven't had it in my life since the beginning. Super thankful for it. Um, um, I was going to say one, one of the blends that we use, because she, I, I'm just going to put it on my phone here. That, that, that's, you can't see. Pedigree. one up yes. here. Yes. The grounded. Yes. Oh, it's, it's backwards. No, I, but it's not. It's not? No. This one was really nice. Pedigree, balance, and eucalyptus. Pedigree, balance, and eucalyptus. Ooh. Yeah, it was really nice. And I mean, I never would have put, I never, I've never diffused pedigree until Bogo Week with all the information coming out about it. Yeah. And these, these diffuser blends, I really like that every day they released um, how to use the oils in, in, in your diffuser. I know, and Different all ways. of these hacks that we're getting, it's just building up your library. It's building up your ability and your repertoire to be able to just address emotional stuff that comes up or just add something new. Like, I think we sometimes get stuck in our, oh yeah, it's always the same thing, on guard and whatever. <laughs> and so being creative with your diffuser is actually going to help lend itself to a whole plethora of other different emotional things and different viral things that are going around. So um yeah, like I said, like I'm, thank you for sharing that, Carrie. Like every single time they release those diffuser brand, like screenshot things, I'm always like, whoa, screenshot, mm -hmm. screenshot. Cause I, I save all those so I can, mm -hmm. you know, change things up in our own uh, family diffusers. If you also want to blend pettit grain with bergamot, which is a, a citrus oil, it is unbelievable. And I didn't know this until I was reviewing these notes. So this is stuff I'm learning alongside you, but in the um, perfume and cologne industry, which we all know are usually synthetics, they use a lot of pedigree and bergamot in a lot of cologne and um, perfumes. And so sometimes when you smell pedigree, you'll be like, oh, like I've smelled that before. What is that? And you can't quite put your finger on it. It could be that, you know, someone that used to wear perfume or cologne in your life that no longer is wearing that because now we've converted everybody. Um, you might have that familiarity of, of smelling that. So, um, yeah, I love the freshness of it. Um, again, I think I addressed a little bit, but the cardiovascular side of it all is something I'm still learning more about. But um, if anyone in your life is someone that has cardiovascular um, issues, um, again, nervous system stuff, immune stuff, and digestive systems, and again, we want to make sure we're being very compliant by not seeing a diagnosis or a full like diagnostic word um you can just sort of do your own research with how pedigree can aid and assist the body in that okay so a couple of fun facts about pedigree and then we're going to move on um there's a whole bunch of different research studies that are being used with pedigree and pedigree is something that's going to be an up and coming so get really excited that you're going to be one of the people that smelt it first you smelt it who dealt it who dealt it who dealt it there's an oil for that. Okay, moving on. So lavender. Oh yeah. Mom, do you smell like lavender right now? Mm -hmm. What do you, <laughs> my mother. Um, so my mom, um, she doesn't know this, but anytime I do a class, I always talk a little bit about my mom. And so my mom is someone that uses lavender at her bedside. And I bet you if she spun her camera around right now, we would see lavender sitting beside her bed. Where is, this is not staged, people. There it is. 
My mom cannot live without lavender on her feet every night. And she has this little routine she does, just like every person should and, and can. Um, she puts lavender on the bottoms of her feet, and then she, if this was her feet, she does this. And that's when you know grandma is going to sleep. You hear that sound. <laughs> and so this is just a way for her to wind herself down. She has a fairly stressful job. She works with a bunch of people that put a lot of demands on her. Um, Brittany's saying the same thing. She says her mom does the exact same thing. And there's a chat box just down below. If you guys want to open up the chat box, it could be blinking orange right now. It'll uh, open up a bunch of chats that people are doing. So um, yeah, I, I absolutely love what it's doing for my mom because I know it's supporting her sleep and sleep is like the number one thing. Um, but there's other things that lavender can do. So we're going to get right into it with lavender. And I hope that by the end of me reading this little bit, that you'll learn something new about lavender and be able to put it into practice. So the first thing that's wonderful about, I love about lavender, um, is that it's wonderful at easing tension in the body. And sometimes that means muscle skeletal stuff, and other times it means here, in the mind, okay? So the next time you're feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, I want you to get a bottle, your bottle of lavender or your bottle of lavender touch, and I need you to put it on your hands or on your diffuser jewelry, Get it up all in you. And I want you to take three, close your eyes, quiet your heart, mindful breaths. And I promise you by that third breath and when you open your eyes, you will be in a different state. And then after you're done, you're just gonna reach it into your top, around your shoulders, and you're gonna feel the lavender loving, okay? And, and this is again, ways that we set ourselves up for emotional and physical and spiritual health, okay? This isn't just sort of like a thing that we kind of do because it smells nice, okay? Um, again, when we talk about setting ourselves up for success, this is a great oil to add with another essential oil, um, like uh, breathe or something respiratory supportive like eucalyptus in children's diffusers at nighttime. Now at the end of this, we're gonna be talking about serenity, which is lavender, there is some lavender in serenity. Uh, but for the purpose of focusing right now on lavender, um, you can you can just, you know, use it as much as you want to during bedtime. <laughs> um, we source lavender from France and Bulgaria, which are two beautiful countries that have a rocky, hilly climate. And it's perfect climate like that that grows a sustainable crop of essential oil. And so the tops of the perfectly ripe and ready lavender are the ones that we use it's the floral part it's not the stem it's not the the the, uh, the leaves it's actually the floral part of the plant so it's that beautiful purple and so um who here knows how many bushels of lavender it takes to make one 15 mil ounce bottle of lavender just throw some numbers down how many bush bushels think in your mind can i cheat are you going to look at the notes, Care? You're a brat. <laughs> That's called being resourceful. How many, Carrie? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It is three bushes Thank to you. produce 15. <laughs> three, that's right. So it takes three big bushels, which is, if you look online, you can actually see what a bushel looks like. It's a good handful, and that's what it takes to make a 15 mil bond. So um, it's very, very powerful. And the one thing that I think keeps coming back to me, and a lot of people on my social reach on Instagram love when I talk about the science behind things. So I'm going to touch on that for about two minutes. There are over 600 um, plus research journals that are being published right now and specifically um, in the science community about the benefits behind using lavender as a way to support your body. And so when they're doing these um, studies, over 266 of them are being done on human trials. So what that means is there's firsthand information of real life um, documented stuff on a scientific level of people being able to use this essential oil, specifically ours, to be able to support their bodies. When I say support our bodies, I'm talking about um, reducing anxious feelings. Um, you can use it for um, any sort of like minor skin irritations, burns, bug bites, uh, anytime, like actually, pizza night is usually Friday nights at our house, and typically mommy is really hungry, so I like to burn my mouth. <laughs> I don't like to. Yeah. 
Pizza. But if you ever have a burn at the top of your mouth, take one drop of lavender and shove it to the roof of your mouth. You won't have that um, burnt mouth burntness. I don't know how to describe it. A bubble that happens and then that very tender tongue even. Um, and then just a little bit of coconut oil. So I actually use like the Costco hard coconut oil in this, this, in this instance. You can ingest the coconut oil from doTERRA, but I just grab whatever and I shove it up there and I just hold my tongue up there while it sort of does its thing. And by the morning, I don't even remember that I burnt my tongue. So if you ever burn your tongue on something, lavender, okay? Is that the something new people learned? Yes. I saw the nuts. This is good. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, so I guess we can kind of move on. I, I think that we're all very familiar with lavender, um, but I think it's worth talking about. And then we're just going to skip right into using Motivate and Cheer. That was BOGO Day 2. Who loved BOGO Day 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I saw everybody going for that one. Um, like, namingly, um, people at my son's school, teachers at my son's school were texting me like at their break and at their lunch and they're like, get me two of those, get me one of these. I'm like, whoa, like, are you guys talking about it in the staff room? What's going on right now? Um, but I think it's because they're starting to see the fruit of the essential oil in their class and they're starting to realize, I mean, A, they love getting it on sale. My goodness, that was a great price point. But B, um, it's so user-friendly, the roller bottles. So let's pull up, let's pull out cheer because cheer was you buy a cheer for 16 25 i think it was and then you got the motivate for free these two guys right here okay so let's talk a little bit about cheer who has cheer who has smelt cheer before just give me one of these i know some of you guys are blocked out yeah okay anybody comfortable with maybe describing it i want to go great beth what are you leaning in frankie says it smells like root beer Yes. Oh my gosh. It so does. Hmm. It smells like jolly old root beer. Wow. Yes. 100%. It smells like a citrus root beer. Like if you dumped a little bit of citrus into your root beer and you're like, oh yeah, it's happy. My mom's nodding. That means it's totally true. Mommy knows everything. Okay. So this is a very energizing blend. She's really <laughs> Um, that is so great. And I mean, I'm getting goofy just smelling at it. Can you tell my goofiness has gone up like three notches? So it is super great for counteracting any sort of negative emotions and just boosting general optimism in your life. I mean, our, our social media feeds, the radio, there are so many things that can come and almost attack and adulterate our lives on the daily and even on the minutely. <laughs> And I feel like having something like this around, are we applying this right now, guys? I'm loving seeing you do this, Carly. Yes. This is a way to take your emotions from zero to hero, okay? And we all know what that looks like. It's hearing a bad uh, report about something. It's realizing that the thing you've been planning for was just canceled. It's realizing that the weather isn't in your favor today because you had plans. It's, it's taking you from being super, super, again, to okay so i learned this from citrine and sage on instagram who knows kim camuso i like her she used to be the essential mermaid now she's citrine and sage branding is good so she taught me how to use this in a way that i hadn't thought of before which is so cool so our meridians are our the way that our body communicates with our itself this this here is an emotional meridian for the heart and mind. And recently, and I'm gonna read this so that I don't mess this up, but recently, um, the olfactory sensors in our, in our brain have also been found um, on our skin. So they're starting, they, this is like brand new research. It's not just a space in our minds. When we, when we reference the olfactory system, it's actually now being discovered that we have olfactory centers in our skin, which is crazy because that opens up a whole new opportunity for our aromatherapy um, tools to be able to support ourselves topically, which I love because I'm captain of the essential routine, right guys? <laughs> so I love that now, 
it's not just, you know, when you smell it, it works. It's actually that it's going on your skin and it's starting to work there too. So here we go. So we put cheer on our meridian here. This is the area. And then what you do is you start to rub them together as if you're trying to start a fire with your sticks, okay? It's something kids can do. This is something you can do at work. People aren't gonna think, what is she doing over there? Is she rubbing in lotion? Is she getting lotion on her? It's not offensive, it's fine. So we're just rubbing this in. And then we're huffing it in. <laughs> you can do the exact same thing with Motivate. It is absolutely phenomenal. And I, and I will talk a little bit about um, what's in Cheer first. So Cheer has Wild Orange. And Wild Orange is also super, super great for energizing. It's also great for counteracting the emotion of discouragement. Okay, so we can we don't have to talk about discouragement it's everywhere. Um, clove, which I didn't know was in here until you start to smell a little deeper, and then you you feel that kind of like ping, you you smell it. Um, so feelings of confidence and emotional balance, star anise and ginger in there, and they have really fabulous energizing properties. Lemon, increasing mood. Lemon myrtle, and there's vanilla bean extract, which is kind of that desserty smell you might smell. There's nutmeg in there, which is known and believed to relieve stress, minimize the effects of fatigue, and also enhance your concentration. And then cinnamon bark, which is great for soothing um, when applied topically. So way to go, cheer. You're awesome. Moving along to motivate, okay? Now, um, my son Steven is watching, and I don't know if you can see him, but his, his, his name is there, because he might be upstairs. Um, the, we use a lot of motivate on our kids and specifically when we're feeling like we're just not really acing life when we're like, we don't want to go to school. My lunch is yucky. Um, I don't really want to move my body, even though I know it's, I'm going to feel better afterwards. So motivate something that we get my kids to apply. And this was actually in his coat pocket for a little while last week. And so this is going to promote feelings of confidence, determination and optimism. Okay, so this is great for athletes. It's great for right before you're about to give a speech. It's absolutely fabulous if you're about to host a class for the first time and you're like, I'm feeling anxious and I need some confidence here. Apply this to the, to the meridians of your arms. Get it on your hands. <clears throat> Take some breaths. You're just setting yourself up for success. These are the ways that we do this um, as whalers. Um, so for some people also, um, when you apply it to your pulse points, again, this is great for when you're right before an event or some sort of a sporting competition. Um, and so uh, I'm just reading what else I can do here. Oh, for people who have to have conversations very frequently with people at work. Sometimes, again, we got caught up in home life and work life and work home life. And so Motivate is actually really supportive of being able to set up that emotional boundary so that we can keep everything in check. So I absolutely love that because I do work from home. And so boundaries are really important for me. So I don't like mixing things, but I love that Motivate is actually able to support that for me. And so inside Motivate, it's very peppermint citrusy. And so when we smell um, Motivate, you're gonna be getting some um, peppermint, clementine, coriander, which, I mean, I don't detect coriander, but it certainly is in there. <laughs> basil, which is amazing. I love the smell of basil. Anyone else a basil fan here? Yeah, super great. Um, basil around the ear is great for your infections, just saying. Okay, Melissa, Melissa. Okay, I'm going to speak on Melissa for 35 seconds. Melissa is a powerhouse essential oil. We consider Melissa in this house as Babe Ruth. <laughs> so when you want to have the big guns come in and show up and hit a home run with no doubt in your mind, you bring out Melissa. It is absolutely fabulous for cellular support, um, emotional support. It can calm feelings of nervousness and has a really super positive effect on the mood. So when someone's sick, I bust out Melissa, not just for the antiviral properties, but also just to like kick them out of that whole state of mind when you're like, man, I'm sick again. So um, love that. Another ingredient in there, and there's two more, is rosemary. 
rosemary is absolutely fabulous for memory and memory retention. There's a few students in the group and a few teachers here too. Um, so if you want to help your memory retention and just work through um, that, make sure you're using rosemary and just you put it on your fingertips and massage it into your head. If you don't have rosemary yet and you have Motivate, get it on. And the last one is the vanilla bean, okay? Um, so that vanilla bean, it says here, uh, vanilla bean extract helps ease tension, relaxes nerves, helping you feel better and happier and more content. Hi, Avery. Hi. Avery's my bracelet making partner. Hey, is that Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash in the background? Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. I'm getting excited about those guys. My little girl Abby loves those guys. Okay, day three. We're on day three. We're halfway there, guys. Well, day, day five is halfway, so we're like 25% done. Was oregano and tea tree. I'm gonna collect myself. I, like when they, when, they, when they announced tea tree and oregano, I almost fell off of my chair. I was like, what? Okay. Like, I love that they put oils during BOGOs that are in our top 10 kits. Because to me, they're essential oils that they know, doTERRA knows, people either run out of, or they're one of those sharing style oils where it's like, I've, I've been using my own kit, I've been, I've been having successes, and then when the BOGO comes up and it's like, these are the two oils that help me with my viral thing that I was having last month boom, you're able to share it with a coworker and then that gets that conversation going. So I love when they put top 10 oils in BOGOs. So um, when you bought an oregano for 22 bucks, you got a Melaleuca for free. Holla. That was amazing. So we're gonna talk about oregano. Oregano is um, revered by the Greeks for its health benefits and its taste. If you eat Italian food, you've had oregano. If you've ever had um, Nona sauce, I don't know, is Michaela on? No, Michaela is not on. Um, Nona makes a one heck of a sauce every mm. summer and she puts a lot of oregano in it <laughs> uh, because that is what the Italian and Greek people do. So our, our oregano is sourced from Turkey. Everyone say Turkey. Turkey, everyone's muted, I forgot, I'm sorry. I do this at make and take so I get, I know people are listening, but I know you're listening. Um, so here are some things. Here's some usage tips that we use for oregano in our family. And I want you to listen carefully because oregano is one of those oils you don't play with. Okay. Does everyone know what that means? Yes. This is not an oil that you're just like, I don't know. It's like, why don't you try it out? It's like, no, like this is like the real, like this is like playing with gunfire in some ways. Okay. So, um, Putting a drop of oregano in a veggie cap when you're feeling like you're becoming sick, and we all know that tingle, right? We all know the tingle we get here, or we had a restless night of sleep. Something has gone on, and you're like, ooh, I think I'm getting sick, and everyone knows that feeling, right? Yes. No, I'm nodding your heads, yes. That's when you bust out this team right here, tea tree and oregano. And so in a minute, I'm going to do a screen share and we're all going to watch a two and a half minute video together about the incredible power of tea tree and oregano being used together as a team. And this is a non-released video now because the FDA was yeah. like, you can't do that. <laughs> but I downloaded it before they took it off the internet. Okay. So why don't we watch that now? I'm going to do a screen share. You guys are all going to watch it with me. And let me see if I can pull up my desktop. You let me know if you can see this. Hold on. Can everyone see what I see right now? Yes? Mm -hmm. Is it the full screen or no? Yes. Thanks, Mom. Bacteria have the ability yes. to change their genetic makeup over time for their own self-preservation. Bacteria have their own defensive mechanism. They produce something called a peptidoglycan layer. It's the equivalent that's an M &M of on the right. an M&M shell that's protecting the chocolate on the inside. 
No. One of the other elements the bacteria are very, very good at making, and that is something called a biofilm. Biofilm is its own very goopy, slimy mess that it covers itself in. So what's now starting to happen is we are finding that once very useful antibacterial medications are no longer effective at all. What that means for us, we must have The volume's turned down, Julie. Hmm? Okay, it's better. The volume. Ability okay. to come in and start to modify that sludge and remove it so that the oregano can get to the bacteria. And in oregano, magic time. Called carvacrol. Carvacrol will bind to that peptidoglycan and it punctures a little hole in there. Once that hole opens, you start to get a passing of ions back and forth. What that does to the bacteria is it allows it to lice. It means burst open. And we've now accomplished something very dramatic, and that is by doing nothing more than using two simple little plant-based essential oils, you have created a very effective antibacterial solution. Give it to Jesus! Isn't that incredible? Ah, oh, when I saw that, I was not an essential oil user yet. That was like a while ago. Yes, Avery loves that video. So when we use tea tree first, and I say this with a guided because he, um, Dr. David actually is one of the people that work with doTERRA. He's one of the scientists. Um, he encourages you to put tea tree on the bottoms of your feet first and then layering it with oregano. And that can actually help support the uh, disruption, he referred to it as, as um, the duplication of improper viral cells of the body. And so when we talk about what a virus cell looks like, um, we can all fill in the blanks with what's going around in the office right now, what's going on at schools, what are being passed around. And so what we can do is we can stop that duplication process and we can actually support the body's ability to begin to heal itself with the immune system. So did that not light you up that video? I love that video. And when I saw it, I was like, that is heavy stuff. <laughs> so he talked a little bit about the oil chemistry behind oregano and carvacrol. Carv carvacrol is a very cleansing agent and that is a huge amount. Like when we look at um, what chemical constituents are in oregano, over 70% of the bottle is carvacrol, which means, again, it's like the Babe Ruth. You know it's going to knock it out, but we do not use it every day. Okay? Take the oath with me. Julie? Say, I, yes. When we're talking about layering, are we putting the tea tree on first, then yep. diluting, and then, and then we're putting on the oregano and dilute it with coconut oil as well? Yes. Okay. So this is straight Thank up from you. Dr. Hill. Thanks. And also from, you're going to learn this, Michelle, with um, doing the aroma touch. So what we do is we're going to be starting our regime with the tea tree and applying it either along the spine or on the bottoms of the feet. And then we, excuse me, and then we strategically, like you're going to take the course, but you're going to learn how to work it into the system so it reaches every cell in the body based on the spine. Right. And then we go in with a diluted ratio of oregano. And so that layering is going to help with driving it into the system and having it stay there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. I was wondering if other people weren't, weren't sure either. So thank you. Thank for you. That. Yes. I'm so glad you brought that up because <laughs> those are, these are very important things to talk about. 100% um, of the time dilute. There is never a time when I would say that it would be inappropriate to dilute. We always just follow it with coconut oil or start it with coconut oil. Okay. There's so many different reasons why. But just trust that that's the, there's lots of different reasons why we do it, and that's how you should be doing it too. Okay. Um, again, we're going to take the oath of not using oregano every day. The reason why is because in our tummies is good gut flora. And so we, um, oregano oil is non-selective when it comes in and it bombs out your system. Okay. So that means it's going to go in and it's going to take out, it's taking names. 
and it's just banging things around. <laughs> so we want to make sure that if we're going to be using oregano, we're only using it for a total of, sorry, 10 straight days if we're going to be using it for something really, really intense. And then we're going to give our system a break. Okay, just like an antibiotic. And I think that if we were to start to think about oregano in that space and time, you're going to see incredible results. Okay. Um, what is, I'm looking at the chat right now. Oh no, the m, &M video. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Bethany has a healthy obsession with M&Ms and um, I kind of ruined M&Ms for her for a little while, but I think she's, no, no, I didn't. Okay, she's back. She's good. Okay, good. Um, and there, are, again, another really great thing, um, PubMed, and this is something you could jot down, PubMed is a website, and this is third-party information about scientific journaling and proof behind essential oil usage. And so PubMed has published over 700 different studies about the use of oregano and being able to do a ton of stuff. And so the reason why I keep citing back all of these journals is because from an FDA standpoint and from a compliance standpoint, I can't be throwing out diagnoses and names. Again, you get to look up those diagnoses and names and see if they're going to help. Okay? Because homie don't play that way. It's also a really great surface cleaner. So if you want to make sure you're inoculating something that maybe you're like, who owned this before I acquired it? <laughs> like maybe you scored some wicked awesome Tupperware. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something. And you really want to make sure it's clean. Throw some oregano in there. Brand new. All right. Moving along to, to Melaleuca. So Melaleuca is a plant that is native to Australia. And it has a fresh and wonderful, slightly kind of herbaceous smell. And when you smell it, um, it is very familiar to most people. Almost every skincare line out there has some form of tea tree in it or melaleuca. Those are the two different words we kind of use in conjunction with one another. Tea tree is melaleuca, melaleuca is tree tree. Finkel is einhorn, einhorn is finkel. Does anyone know the reference? I think Carly got it. No? It's from H. Ventura. Yes, yes, you know. You guys know that. Oh my gosh, I'm with my good people tonight. Okay, so this is absolutely fabulous for um, cleansing the face, um, your skin, any areas of irritation. So I've heard people that have used this um, after shaving. So they get out of the shower, they can put a diluted with coconut oil or any sort of like non-scented lotion. doTERRA carries a lovely body lotion. Um, and you can actually put one drop or even a swipe of a, here's a little hack. Here's, here's a bottle. And you can just do a swipe because there's always, do you see how shiny that is there? There's always oil on the rim of your bottle and it, it just stays there. It never gets used. So when you want like a little bit of it and then a little bit of lotion and that is super, super healing for any irritated skin post shaving, post rug burn. Maybe you slid on the grass at soccer. Um, it's really, really great for that. If your husband's shaving and he gets a little bit of a nick recommend putting some from tea tree on that. Um, so great. And it's also really great for fungus um, and any sort of um, stuff going on under the nails. So if anyone has like athlete's foot, um, I know we're not supposed to say these words. Sorry, FDA, if you're listening. She guy. Um, any sort of issues uh, nail related and my mom, am I allowed to like throw you under the bus again? My mom works for a podiatrist. And so they actually have tea tree based. Hi. Two, two podiatrists. Two, two podiatrists. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, they they have use a lot of tea tree in a lot of their foot soaks for diabetics. So it's very, very cleansing. Um, it has a lot of different clarifying ingredients in it. It's very antifungal, antiviral, anti everything. My goodness, this thing like kills it out. It's also really super great for getting rid of or keeping lice at bay with peppermint or clove or both okay so if you want to make up a little spray you can do witch hazel i don't have a spray bottle with me but yeah just a little bit of um witch hazel or even just water i mean like don't go around searching for stuff if you're needing to do something really fast even just directly on your hands peppermint clove 
and run it along your kid's hair before they go to school, brush it through, put it in a braid, off they go. Okay, that's just life, life insurance against lice or lice insurance, if you want to call it that. I just came up with that. I'm on to that. Must be all that cheer I'm using. Okay, it also really is super supportive of protecting against, I'm glad somebody finds me funny. Thanks, Carrie. Checks in the mail. Um, against environmental threats. So um, I'm not gonna say what environmental threats are, but they have to do with someone going like this. <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay. Can't say the words because you know you never know who's watching. Okay. Um, how many pounds of tea tree does it take to make a 15 mil bottle? Who knows? Why am I treating this like a quiz? This is lame. 2.9 pounds. It takes 2.9 pounds. <laughs> There's gonna be so much more when I was, than what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, two point nine pounds. It's basically like <laughs> this is how much this is how many pounds it takes. I know that because I had to take that to the post office and weigh it. And that's pretty much how I'm doing it. Again, all of the different medical journals that are being published on PubMed um, are, are talking a lot about all the different turpentine levels in it. Um, and the pinene, alpha pinene is inside melaleuca, which is super, super relaxing. So we never ever think about tea tree as something that is anything but virus and like cleansing, but it's actually super relaxing. So if you want to make a diffuser blend with a little bit of tea tree in it and some lavender or serenity, even some cedarwood or peace, it's actually really supportive with promoting relaxation in the body. It blends really, really well with wild orange and eucalyptus too. So if you want something fun to kind of change things up, putting in a couple drops of tea tree with some, a drop of lavender, or sorry, wild orange and some eucalyptus is really great for kids' bedrooms. So if you want to have a good diffuser going with something new in it, uh, that's an option. Okay. Capriche. Uh, let's look here. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a whole entire list here of all the things that tea tree can do. And at the end of this, I think that's flipped, isn't it? Just kidding. At the end of this, um, if anyone wants me to send them this link of this booklet that I'm reading from right now, it's a 30 page booklet of all the things that I'm talking about. So if you're like frantically writing notes or wishing you had a notepad, um, just send me an email or go into our Essential Alliance group, which some of you are a part of and others aren't quite there yet. And we will, or I will tag you in that or just find it. It's the, one of the first things that are on there right now because we literally just posted it the other day. Okay. Got two more to go. Um, and it is 847. So we're doing really good. Okay. So this is the next one. This was, again, this is like one of those ones where I was like, okay, what's the logo for today? Oh my hecking heck. And it was... <laughs> on guard and slim and sassy which like if you come into my house that's what it smells like <laughs> those two oils um so i felt like this was like jesus way of confirming that doTERRA is amazing <laughs> i get that eye roll from my mom a lot it's smart and sassy not slim baby yeah well in the united states and in canada there's two different names so okay. slim and sassy Smart and sassy, it's the same thing. Exact same Thank thing. Love you, Mom. Love you, too. Okay, so we're going to talk about On Guard. We sing about On Guard every morning at school in Canada. We stand on guard for thee, right? <laughs> no one even knows that they're singing about essential oils. Even when they don't let essential oils in schools, we're singing about them. Such a goofball. Okay, so um, I mean, uh, On Guard is an immune system and respiratory uh, support of essential oil. So anyone that comes into your life that is hacking up a lung or they're having a difficult time with um, a virus, anything that goes around during the cold winter months, um, this is an absolutely wonderful way to purify the air. And it's a really great way to just keep a really great tight door on stuff that's coming in. 
So when it comes, when my kids come home from school, this is the first thing they smell. They smell on guard diffusing. Anytime we have people over, I diffuse on guard because I do not want them bringing stuff into my house that does not belong there. <laughs> um, I absolutely love that it is something that you can keep on you as well because doTERRA has created an entire line, not only with just this bottle, but it has over 10 different other products that have on guard infused into it, which I absolutely love. But we're gonna talk about just a few ways we can use this bottle that is coming to your door, if not already. Who has gotten their on guard yet? Their on guard and slim and sassy bogo. <gasps> you lucky people. What the heck, where is mine? Part of like five of these things. Okay, no problem, no big deal. So this is a great thing that you can put into a veggie cap. Everyone knows what a veggie cap is? Yes? Okay, so they're just like veggie blanks and you can just put a couple drops in there and ingest it. It's gonna go down, it's gonna help give you a really quick immune system boost. So if you know that, again, I'm, I'm coming down with something or someone at, that is like maybe living with you or whatever is sick and you're like, I cannot get this, I have something important coming up in my life, this is going to stand on guard for you, okay? You guys like that? I like that too. I'm on, seriously, I'm on the night, guys. Um, this is a really great DIY natural cleaner as well. So I absolutely love using this in conjunction with the doTERRA cleaner concentrate. And I have a glass bottle that we have. Uh, and I actually hype it up with a little bit of extra arm guard during the winter months just to make sure that I'm annihil annihilating everything. Um, as some of us of you know, I welcome international students into my home every calendar month pretty much except for the summer and so most of the times we have kids coming and going in our house that could be carrying god knows what <laughs> so this is an insurance policy that i've taken out for myself and my family so that we're warranting not getting unwell and when we do and if we do get unwell the recovery time is like rapid fire we are able to turn things around really quickly in our house um because on guard has a lovely bouquet <laughs> oh yeah it has a lovely bouquet of different essential oils in it um citrus is definitely one of the top things i smell when i smell um on guard so there's cinnamon there's wild orange which is absolutely fabulous for supporting um overall health and immune system function and there's eucalyptus in it now this is something i want you guys to know because it might come up with people when they ask you this the eucalyptus that is in on guard is different than the eucalyptus as a single oil. Okay, so we have eucalyptus that we offer, and then there's also eucalyptus in here. The eucalyptus that I have upstairs is non-ingestible. The eucalyptus that is in this bottle is ingestible. Okay, and doTERRA has made that a obvious division line and they have it almost on every little piece of information. They have it in the Essential Life book. They printed it out on this thing that I'm going to get you guys to have available. So they, they make sure that you know that. So that it's, a, it's different than the oil, single oil that doTERRA on um, eucalyptus has. Eucalyptus is super great at purifying surfaces, cleaning the air, and supporting an uplifting mood. Um, there's rosemary in it as well. And um, rosemary is super supportive of respiratory function. It is reducing, it also supports with fatigue. So remember we talked about massaging rosemary in our hair, our heads for um, supporting memory. It also is really great for reducing fatigue. So Peyton has a, an exam tomorrow, right Peyton? Yep, <laughs> she's like not feeling it right now. But um, if Peyton had any rosemary, she'd be throwing that down on her head right now just to lift her up. Now, Peyton went for a coffee just before she got on this call, and she could have went for some rosemary. But, you know, everyone has a place to start, right? Right, Pei? <laughs> um, okay, so, and then the last ingredient in On Guard is clove. So, cinnamon, wild orange, eucalyptus, um, rosemary, and clove. Super spicy, super yummy. Love it. And clove is super great for obviously um, supporting the immune system. It is the highest orc, which is a um, way to measure antioxidants. It has the highest level of antioxidants in it. 
um, and I want to say from the plant-based community. Like I'm talking, it surpasses blueberries and everything else. Clove is like one of the best detoxification things. So when we're coming down with something or our system's under attack, being able to have something that has clove in it is super great at just flushing the body out of anything that shouldn't be there, okay? And so yeah, On Guard obviously is in a huge product line. So if you haven't really explored what um, products are infused with On Guard, um, I would highly recommend you do. There's soft gels, beadlets, they have a mouthwash, there's toothpaste, throat drops. Um, we have a foaming hand um, sanitizer, or foaming hand wash. Um, did I say hand sanitizer yet? And laundry detergent. So there's a ton of different ways to be able to get On Guard into your life. And um, we just talked about all the ways that it's gonna aid and assist your body. So that's pretty slamming. Next one is Slim and Sassy. Um, Slim and Sassy is our metabolic blend and it is really great at helping you manage um, your hunger and control your appetite. So, um, when it comes to me at nighttime, and I'll just give you my like life hack, life tip. Um, I am a nighttime eater because you know that I work at nighttime with make and takes. So I don't like eating before I go out because I want to be able to be fully present and if my body's digesting, I often am not fully present. So I get home and I'm starving, but then I also have to make my kids lunches. So you can kind of see how that can like become a very big domino effect because A, I haven't eaten properly and now I'm in front of like tons of different foods and I'm like, yep, take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm not eating properly. So. What I've been doing for the last two months, I put one drop. So I keep Slim and Sassy in where we keep all of our lunch stuff. So all of like the um, apple sauces and stuff that you fill your kids' lunches with. I'm, I put my bottle of Slim and Sassy in the cupboard. And the second I open the cupboard, boom, there's Slim and Sassy. I'm like, yep, get in here. So I put one drop of Slim and Sassy in my mouth. I have not been snacking. A because I love the way it tastes and I don't want to ruin that taste. It's, it's cinnamony, minty, grapefruity. And I'm able to also support a metabolic effect on my body. And then once I finished making my kids lunches, I sit down and I have a proper whatever. Okay. So I'm not snacking before I eat. Okay. So I'm still eating a full meal, but I'm not doing it because I'm like starving. Okay. There's also ginger in there, which is really great for digestive um, discomfort. You can add it to your water. When you're adding any essential oils to water, always do it in a glass jar or a metal um, canister or something ceramic like this. Recognize this, mom? My mom's a potter. Thumbs up to my mom. She's great. Um, Okay, last thing, I talked about this on my Instagram stories, if anyone saw it. I keep one Slim and Sassy in my shower, and so you can dry skin brush with it. Who's familiar with dry skin brushing? Dry skin brushing, yes, yes, some people are. Frankie, Carrie, my mom, not happening. Okay, good. Avery, Avery knows what to do. <laughs> okay, so Slim and Sassy on the hands, one or two drops. And you put that on all the problematic areas of your body, and I'm talking about places where you want to see some improvements with either the texture of your skin or overall just the elasticity. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a dry skin brush that is with natural fibers. So please don't use a synthetic um, dollar store one. I don't know how to say that nicer. <laughs> so go to the health food store and get a natural fiber brush. And so you're going to start at the bottoms of your feet, and you're just going to work your way up all the way to your heart and always moving those brush strokes towards your heart. So we don't brush down, we brush up, okay? And as we're doing that, we're stimulating all of the different circulation stuff with our body. So we're just promoting circulation in our body. We're getting things moving around. Carrie is a registered massage therapist. She knows the importance of um, circulation and promoting circulation in all of her different clientele. And so what that's doing is it's getting blood flow going and it's allowing the body to be able to cycle through whatever might be going on on a metabolic level or even just cellularly. And a lot of the different essential oils that are in Slim and Sassy are kind of like back and immune system supporters. So we're kind of getting a dual effect here with using Slim and Sassy as a way to support our bodies on a topical level. 
Um, and again, Slim and Sassy also has a massive line of stuff. So they have gum, soft gels, and it's also in their entire shake line. So all of the different um, trim shakes that they make. So again, we're not just an essential oil company. We carry vitamins, minerals, supplements, oils, and then cleaning products. We have um, protein shakes. We have a whole bunch of other stuff too, okay? Um, and so I'm going to read this out loud because I think this is something my mom would love to hear because um, this is something my dad deals with. But it says, recent research suggests that the consumption of cinnamon in even very small amounts can have a profound effect on healthy blood sugar metabolism than we initially have thought. And it may even induce genetic expression, which could positively influence biological aging. Who knew that essential oils could do things like this? So um, having, having a little drop or two in your um, water, it's going to support you in so many different areas, okay? Last bogo. So we're moving on to serenity and balance. Who got the serenity and balance bogo? Yes. I did. My mom, Michelle, almost everybody. It was pretty awesome. So you bought a serenity and you got a balance for free. Again, falling off my chair when I got that one. Like this, this was the last of the days. This is day five and they saved us for a while. <laughs> um, so I absolutely love the way that um, serenity cues up a sleep cycle for my kids. I absolutely love how it can shift an anxious person from being like, pre-panic attack, pre I'm freaking out and I can't do this, pre I feel like the walls are starting to do one of these, you can actually halt that feeling with using serenity in conjunction with balance. Okay, so this is very real. And I want the gravity of this, this essential oil collection, these two things, to really set in because it's one thing to learn about it, it's another thing to start applying it and then tasting and seeing how effective it is, okay? So I know we're at nine o'clock, but I really wanna get through this last slide or two because this is probably one of the more shifting uh, BOGOs and essential oils that I feel I think we need to focus maybe five minutes on, okay? And then we'll be done. So when it comes to serenity, it is super supportive of restorative sleep. Okay, so what that means is it's not just, you know, a good night's sleep. It can actually promote the release of melatonin in the body so that you can kick into the sleep cycle quicker and stay in it. So that important REM sleep. So we all know what REM is, right? It's when your eyes start moving. It's when a lot of the re restorative, reparative work goes on in the body. Um, for some of us who have taken psychology um, and different important functions that happen during sleep, that is a really important sleep cycle. And if we're not able to get into that sleep cycle, we're basket cases as humanity, okay? And we, as like I'm a mom of three, so I remember the days where I was not getting that REM seat. I wasn't getting a full cycle of sleep. My kids were waking up in the night. A, they were miserable. B, I was miserable. And it was because I functionally was not getting that sleep I needed and neither were they. Okay. So this is almost like hitting that restorative reset button, serenity. Okay. You're thinking to yourself, how do you use it? Here are some ways. Having a diffuser in their bedroom, diffusing 30 minutes before they go into their bedrooms is going to queue up sleep. Okay. So maybe they're in the bath whatever their bedtime routine is, whatever your bedtime routine is. So you're just gonna to start to cue up that aromatic moment, okay? You're, we're starting to cue those things up. And so as we're, we're, we're diffusing that, it's gonna to start to shift their bodies and from being a stimulated, I'm awake, to maybe they're gonna give you a yawn. Maybe you're gonna to start to feel like you're needing a good little stretch and maybe you'll yawn too. Like it's, it's amazing what it can cue up for you. And so another way, if you don't have a diffuser yet, you can put some into your hands and warm it, rubbing your hands together. And just again, like we talked about at the beginning of this Zoom call, we're going to take some mindful breaths, deep inhalations, to be able to, again, get our bodies ready for sleep. 
Um, so in balance, or sorry, in serenity, it has obviously lavender, but it has Roman chamomile, vetiver, which if you have heard my story about vetiver before, you know it's super important to me. Um, vetiver has a very grounding effect on your emotions. It has sandalwood, which is one of the most beautiful and, oh my goodness, incredibly restorative, like relief inducing, I want to say, essential oils. Um, and it kind of takes like really tense, like ooh, wound up feelings and kind of just goes, come on now, let it go. Right? Marjoram. Marjoram is an essential oil that I feel like is an underused and underappreciated essential oil. Um, it was a BOGO from, I think, November, if not if not mistaken. Um, so it's very emotionally soothing. So anything that's kind of getting trapped up in here and not being talked about, it's very good at flushing that out. Cedarwood, ylang ylang, ho wood, and vanilla absolute. So it is super, super lovely. Um, applying it topically, you can rub it on the bottoms of your feet, just like I talked about how my mom does that every night and she puts her feet together. So that the reason why I taught my mom to rub her feet together is if we're just putting an essential oil on and we're slipping into underneath the sheets, um, it's not being able to be worked into the skin. So that benefit, just like massage therapy has a benefit of that um, mus muscle working it in um, and, and flushing the system and, and providing some um, lymphatic support, we're able to do that by massaging stuff into our feet as well. So um, I feel like Carrie could speak way better on this as with what I'm trying to do, but what I'm saying is make sure you're really massaging your essential oils into your body. Um, Carrie, why don't you talk for a minute or two about the benefit of working essential oils into your system versus just kind of just putting it on the, the surface? Ooh, I love being put on the spot. Um, Me too. Hmm. So uh, I'm going to have a brain fart right now. That's okay. So um, like when, so, it, when it comes yeah. to using essential oils and we're, we're working them into the body versus just like letting them sit on the top, what's mm -hmm. the benefit of massaging in, say, something like serenity or lavender? Why do we do that? Okay, thanks. Um, so by massaging into the area, you're, you're increasing the circulation. And by increasing the circulation, that's what's going to help to drive it into your tissues and, and, and have a far greater reaching effect of the oils Great on sister. your body. Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. Cool. Thank you. You said it so much better than I did. I mean, very good. It's also great in the bath. If you have some Epsom salts, um, we just bought some from Costco. So it comes in a big old jug for like eight bucks. And so what we did was we, we put the Epsom salt into some glass jars and then we put in some serenity. When I say some, I mean, pick your own adventure, do whatever you want. I don't care. Just make sure it's in there and some balance. So for me, I put in 10 drops in each, and I think there might have been three or four cups in each canister. And um, a half a cup of baking soda for absorbency and skin softness, and it's just really good for the body anyway. It's very alkaline promoting. Um, so we did that. We shook up the containers, and I put that in my kids' bath every night. They love it. Again, that's queuing up that sleep. Then then when they walk into their bedrooms, boom, that hits them again. And they're like, I don't know why I'm so tired. I don't know if I can do a story tonight, mom. I'm like, weird, that's so crazy. Why don't you go to bed now? <laughs> I tell you girls, it's magic. Is Steven still on here? No, he's not. Yeah, it really works on Steven. <sighs> Praise the Lord for that. So yeah, that's Serenity. Last one, girls. Thank you for sticking with it and me and this whole deal. So balance. Who, uh, when they first smelt balance, couldn't quite put their finger on it. Yes, get it out. Get it out, Peyton. And they couldn't quite put their finger on what it smelt like, but they just fell in love with it. Yes. Beth. You're saying things, but I cannot hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm muted. Balance is literally what like made me fall in love with oils. I like promote balance to everyone. What is it that like really did it for you? Is she, didn't an answer. she didn't hear. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, Do you love it, Avery? Yeah. 
I love balance because it smells like my great aunt Harriet's house. <laughs> I think it's I don't know how to say pine it. Needles. Pardon me? I think it smells like pine needles. Yes. But so like I, it's enjoyable. It's weird. Yeah. It's very woodsy. Um, my great aunt Harriet was very like, um, she was one of those like ancient, you wanted to just be around her kind of an aunt. She had like, she put out the good silverware. She had the amazing dining table, the linens. My mom would always like when we're driving to her house in Acton be like, okay, you kids, you listen up. <laughs> Cause like being at her house had gravity. It was a big deal. When you walked in there, you felt like you were like part of the queen team. So um, she had spruce trees all around her house and, mm -hmm. and spruce is in this. Uh, she was a very spiritual lady and I feel like she probably had frankincense hidden in her closet somewhere. I don't know, maybe, but it has, um, uh, balance has frankincense in it. It also has hoe wood, blue tansy, woman, uh, sorry, blue chamomile and ostomalthus uh, flower, which really eases feelings of stress. So if you want to create a feeling and a, an environment of tranquility, relaxation, um, easing any anxious feelings, again, putting it on your meridians here, your, your forearms, is a really great way to cue up that not today anxiety, not today. And you can really put a stamp on it. And I, I honestly want you to put, and I say this with the deepest amount of conviction, I want you to put these essential oils on the line and I want them to show up for you in a way that has shown up for millions of other people. But if you have not experienced them yet, or you're not using them in a way that you feel is consistent or it's not breeding um, some sort of a, wow, like she's kind of right. Like I felt that thing too. I want you to, I want you to start using them consistently. And when I say that, I mean like a metronome. Okay. And that's when you're going to start seeing the fruit. Other times it's literally like that, like, boom, I feel it. And I understand it and I get it. And I under, and I've been experienced it, but I want you to really put these essential oils on the line. So when you're starting to get to the and you're starting to get them in the mail. I'm, I'm super excited for you to get them. I want you to start using them. I want you to post in the Essential Alliance community a win. I want you to say, hey, like I was listening to Julie's talk. Maybe this is after the fact because we're recording this. And I started using X, Y, and Z essential oil and it really did show up for me. I want to hear that. I want to hear you have a win. So if that does happen, this is a community of people who are there to support you and to celebrate these wins. And I want you to experience that full embrace of us celebrating that moment with you because what that means is you're going to inspire somebody else to try it too, okay? Because if we as the leaders are constantly saying like, guess what I did yesterday? Guess what I did yesterday? That sort of sounds lame after a while because we're just kind of beating our own drums. So I want to... I want you guys, my community, my people, all these beautiful faces and names to start to experience these essential oils in such a way, but I also really want to hear from you, okay? So um, my challenge to you, I always have a challenge, my challenge is to you to use at least one of these essential oils, either on an emotional level or to support a body thing, and I want you to post about it in the next week or two, okay? And I want to hear your win. Doesn't have to be fancy, doesn't have to be like perfect grammar or a photo, you know, perfect lighting. I just want to hear, okay? Does anyone have any questions before we get off about anything that we talked about tonight or even anything general? Um, if anyone has to leave, I'm going to stop recording it um, so that um, the questions remain, you know, done. So I'm going to turn off the recording.